Hey there everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to download Maven 3. Um, I know it was very I know it's very complicated to some people. I know it was complicated to me at first until I eventually figured it out. Um all the links you're gonna need are in the description of the video. Alright, let's get started. I have Google Chrome, um you could use anything, you're free to use anything, I, I could care less. Alright, so first you want to go to the Apache website that I have in the link. Well, this is going to be this is what you're going to see at first. You want to you're going to want to um, click on the binary zip. That's basically just the um, bin fo uh, folder, and it's just compressed into a zip folder. Um, you're going to want to click on whichever one they have suggested, and it'll download. I have it downloaded already. Um, you could do you could actually do show and folder that would be a lot easier For some reason I just have a habit of opening up Windows Explorer manually um obviously you can see now apache maven three dot o dot three bin dot zip that's what you're gonna wanna see you know wanna right click um I have winzip so I could just go to extra uh extract a folder. Um, Windows users could probably uh, open up the folder and drag out whatever is in it. It's kind of like this. Um, whatever. If you don't have, that's if you don't have something like WinZip or uh, the uh, custom program to unzip your files. Obviously, you can see I have. Here we go. Here's the um, Apache folder. Now you're going to want to bring this into your C drive, but you don't want to bring the bin folder. You don't want to bring this. It's two different folders. You want this. So I'm going to copy it, go into my C drive, program, fo uh, program files. I have it already installed, but you, you could um, paste it into your program files folder. What you're also going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, download the latest version of Java Development Kit or uh, Java JDK. Um, that link is also in the description of the video. You're going to want to select your platform. I agree. Continue. That'll start to download. That's going to take um, a little longer than Apache. A lot more in the download. Um, and you're going to want to go ahead and install Java. That's it's, It would take too long to show in the video, but it's self-explanatory once you have everything downloaded um... and everything in your pro oh yeah that's right you're gonna want to copy and paste the um... oh no you're not never mind sorry the java installs by itself java will be here also make sure if you have windows 7 like what i'm showing you in you don't want to be in program files you want to be uh, you don't want to be in program files x86 you want to be in program files Java. You can see I have more than one version. You just want the latest version, and I actually just realized I don't have the latest version, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um. All right, I have everything installed now. I'm gonna want to go to uh, right-click on computer properties, and for XP users or whatever, I'm pretty sure. Um, it would it would just be system properties in the control panel. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've used an XP computer. Um advanced system settings. You're gonna wanna go to environment variables. And there's two things you're gonna need to um specify here, and that's your Java home and your Maven home. Let's do Java home first. You're gonna hit new. In my case I just hit edit so I can show you what I have down. You're going to want everything caps, Java, and that's an under slash, home. Everything is in caps. And just to make it easier, you can go to your Java folder, go to the address bar, copy, and paste in the um, the, vari uh, the variable value. That's just another word for the address or the location of the folder. Now, you're gonna, you, you have to make sure that you do the JDK folder. You don't want a JRE folder. Well, you want it on your computer, but that's not what you want to specify in the variable value. 
So I have that installed. You know, my Java Home is set up. Oh, and by the way, the example I'm going to be using is Craft Bucket. I forgot to mention that. It's in the link, though. I mean, it's in the uh, name of the video. All right, and then you want you're you're gonna want to um specify your Maven home, same thing as Java home, all caps Maven under slash home, and you're gonna want to specify the variable as where you copied and pasted the Apache Maven folders. You see that? And click on the folder first. So, cause um, when you click on the folder in the variable uh, value or in the address, it'll bring you inside here and not inside here. It, the program will get confused and it won't work. So now that I have that. Hit OK. Now you have you should have your Java home and your Maven home. This this is the part and it gets a little confusing here, but um, don't let it bother you too much. You're gonna want to add it to your path. I'm gonna go to um, edit and just show you what I have. I will put it in the link so you can copy and paste it. But your path is basically like I don't know if you've ever like maybe gone into search and done percent app data. Uh, percent something like that and then it'll bring me to roaming and I'm gonna show you why you can do that if I don't scroll too quickly hopefully not you know, I, I skipped over it oh well um but that's basically um what you want to specify in your path so as you can see here I have a semicolon after the last thing in your variable um, value and then I have percent maven home all caps again just like you put in the um, other thing percent and then a slash bin and basically when you open up command prompt and you do um, something like mvn clean install the command prompt will find this and that's going to tell it exactly where to go um, where it needs to access the files so right now percent maven home percent bin would be this folder right here so you want to make sure that you have that specified i don't have my java home specified in here you probably you don't really need to but um that that should be good hit okay okay again okay and then you're gonna if you're doing this for um bucket reasons you're gonna want to um go to their website and click on the link in here um I'll put a better link inside it'll just eliminate everything I just had to do inside the um video description usually what I will do is I, I usually don't download every single update because because um craft buckets open source it there there are a lot of people working on it at once and there's a lot of updates and it's sometimes unreliable so I'll only download the um the recommended builds um you, again you don't have to do this I'll, I can show you another way to get um to find out which one's the recommended build but you're gonna want to download dot zip you can see it downloaded already. Show in folder, bucket craft bucket, win zip, extract the folder, extracting everything, scroll down to the folder, bucket craft bucket, bucket, and you see there's, if you see, um, you'll see in the bin folder that there's going to be a palm.xml. Whenever you download a craft bucket like this, MVM is going to look for that POM at that XML. So you always want to um, specify the folder where the POM XML is. So you're going to copy this. You're going to open up Command Prompt. 
Now, you're going to do CD space, paste in that um, directory. So now you're inside the directory. And actually, I should have done something else first. Um, you want to download bucket first. Download the bucket folder. Um, the bucket file also. Show in folder. I, I apologize if I just confused anyone. Extract the folder. Basically, you, you're going to want to clean install bucket first because that'll install all the plugins that MVN needs to package this version of Craft Bucket. So, same thing I just did with Craft Bucket except for bucket. Copy and CD space paste. Now we're in the bucket directory. Same thing, the pom.xml in that folder also. You're going to want to type in mvn space clean space install. You can see it's while well, I'm finding the pom.xml. It's getting for projects. You can see it just created a target folder. Build successful. And if you click in here, there you go, there's your bucket, um, there's your jar. Now you don't really need that jar. It doesn't work if you click on it. Well, I, I don't know why it does that in my computer. If you click on it, it'll say something like fail to load main class um, attribute. That's because bucket is not something for the public to use yet. It is for developers looking to help with the bucket project. And that's why there is craft bucket. Um, so basically what the bucket file just did, folder just did, it downloaded all the plugins that MVN needed. Now we're going to go into the craft bucket folder. Palm XML, that's where it's located. Copy the address. CD space, paste it. Now I'm in the craft bucket directory. Now this time you're going to want to do MVN clean package. There we go, it's going to do everything it needs to. Just created the target folder. Build successful. All these warnings are dumb. Don't worry about these warnings. They're nothing. Unless you get unless you get build unsuccessful, don't worry about anything else. Alright, now we can close this. Target. And don't worry about all this other stuff. There's your craft bucket jar. And that's basically all you need. You could make a new folder if you want to. Um, enter. Just bring the craft bucket in there. And um, going into how to run this is a completely different thing. You would run it just like you would run a Minecraft server.jar. Um, that's basically how you would run that. In the exact same way, you could use the exact same code Notch gives you on the website. Um, and that's it. I uh, hope you found this a little less confusing. If you have any questions, just leave a comment in the comment section. Um, thank you for watching my video, and I guess I'll see you guys all next time.